If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry, it says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be a part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You have to skip and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes. Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Vin and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed. A child shall lead them. To buy our merch. Yes, dear listener. Yes, dear listener. Yes, dear listener. We're in the midst of the uh, anniversary stream. Between Stacy and Fernando, they have decided to spend part of that anniversary with us. You should be very, very grateful for that. And in light of that, we are in the midst of a stream with them. The next song is by a band called Trivia. The name of the song is In Waves. <laughs> and uh, it's, this is interesting because the way that... striking out with Trivia and Sipano. The theme... Oh, shit. What'd you do? I, my elbow hit this. Oh, don't look. All right, guys, here we go. Burn in hell. Burn no, in hell. No, that's not right. No, Burn in it, hell it, is no this is right in one. waves. No, it's in waves. Yeah, so I was thinking this, we've talked about. Burn in hell and waves. It could be burn in hell burn and in waves. Burn in the waves of hell. It could be uh, how relationships go in, you know, waves. Uh, okay, yep, that the makes highs, sense. The highs, the lows. Yep. Yep, yep. The chaos, the beauty. Okay. You know, there's right. a lot here. All right. Well, there's a lot I, here. I definitely you're see looking it. for it. I see a lot of chaos over here. She said, no worries, do it. So I guess that means you're allowed to go pull the thing up. Fix it. And what? What?
like i like i like the ideas i like what they do guitar wise <clears throat> like especially like in the verse part it sound it sounds like a simple thing to play but that's kind of like uh the guys that invented gent forgot the name of the band but it like it sounds like oh it's dented dent, 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 dent. it's like oh that's really easy to play but then when you look at it and you try to play it with the timing it's actually pretty it's a lot more complex than people give it credit for like they don't really realize what's going on they are hearing that something that sounds. Or was it somebody else no, 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 no. It wasn't Diarda's murder. It was um, again. I forgot the name. They okay. basically they're credited with inventing the genre called gent, I'm sure and it, somebody it sounds. Help us out. It sound like the, the the flagship song. It sounds very simplistic because the beat seems very repetitive, but it's actually pretty intricate. But you have to kind of be remotely familiar with the instrument to really understand what they're talking about. Okay. I remember you talked uh, to the Irish sure guy. I'm pretty sure it was I'm pretty sure it was Meshuggah. Andrew. Sure it was no, it's the Andrew Marsh guys from Marsh. Uh, Di Marsh. Di 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 Yeah, Board. I remember you guys had a discussion about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and that's yeah. why I thought that that was where it originated. <laughs> Ridiculous. So this is a guy who looks like he's struggling with some mental health issues. And he's saying, you know, if we're all going to die anyway, what's the point of me dragging everybody down with me? Oh. So, so he's saying it comes in waves, which is, oh shit, Meshuggah will be next. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was Meshuggah. Oh really? Yeah, it's Meshuggah. And I think the name of the song is Bleed or something like that. And we, it was actually the first song we did when we actually upgraded everything. When we got oh, the really? camera and we got the Damn, camera and everything. Was and it was like three in the morning and you were crying. I was so <laughs> but I was like. We, that's when I was crazy. Remember how crazy I, I used do, to be? Like, yo, I do. I do. Got, I don't care what time it is. I don't care how many. You know, I had done like a, I don't know, 11, 12 hour shift at work. I'm like, all right, come on. We got to shoot. Um, it was, you know, we were crazy. I was. We were. We hadn't been married for that long. You'd been working no. all day and I wanted to hang out. I didn't want to be working till three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. You had other things you and wanted I to do. I was at three very in the tired. Like, yeah, you were really tired. Like, I wasn't used to your insomnia. Like you lifestyle. literally, you literally cried before. Oh, we, I know. I remember. I we said it in the review. I yeah, thought. I was laughing. I was like, yeah. If you go, if you go look at Meshuggah, if you go look at our review for Meshuggah Bleed, like you'll see. Like, <laughs> I'm like, hey guys, look at our new shit. <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, it was poor crying. baby, sorry. I was so. <laughs> I was like, she's crying. She needs to get over that shit. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's how it was. Jeez, uh, well, you got your vengeance back for sure. You're like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stop recording. <laughs> and that's what happened. Yeah, I uh, think I think I couldn't have. You know, I think a lot of YouTubers do like they they take they stop because it's too much. Mm -hmm. And I think there was no way I could communicate that at that point because I don't even think I recognized what was going on. But I definitely think that was what happened. Oh. I'm sure. I'm sure that's what happened. I'm sure. That, but, you know, you you know me. I, I mean, I didn't. I was like, hey, we're focused. <laughs> <laughs> and I had, 
<laughs> I had just came Babe, out. From, that's so extreme. I had, yeah, I just come out from a pretty austere lifestyle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like it's a pretty extreme situation. So I'm like, oh, you're crying because you don't have enough sleep. You're not even hallucinating yet. Come on, you're fine. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm used to going to bed at like ten o'clock. It's just three o'clock in the well, morning. Well, it's true. Like you, like, well, it took us so long because we didn't know how to get every, how to put everything together. It's crazy now. We can put everything together in like two minutes, but back in the day, we didn't know. Anyway, yeah. Do I end <laughs> this all for the world to see? Do I take everybody else down? Everybody else down with me? Yeah, man. Like that's when you're you're a person that has mental health issues. You know, especially if you're in a close family, like, it's tough. Because you feel like you're bringing everybody down. So he's saying, look, if I'm going to die anyway, what's the point of me bringing everybody else down? Do I end this all for the world to see in waves? Do I take everybody else down, everybody else down with me? I know that death approaches fast. What's the purpose if this life won't last pulling everybody down with me? And that's pretty much the song. And so, like, you have to kind of reconcile or justify, especially when you're in that situation, like, when you're in crisis, a lot of times, like, you have to, you have to adjust, you know, when somebody's in a mental health crisis, you have to adjust what your expectations are, and you have to make adjustments as to, you know, what life is, what you think life is, what the person believes life is, all the rest of it. It's, it's very, very difficult. And then you get, then you almost, if you're at a point in your crisis where you can, where you're still kind of lucid and you still kind of have a, you end up almost having to justify your existence to yourself. Like you almost have to say like, why am I still here if I'm just doing this to everybody? And I, I like, I remember thinking about that, especially like right before I ended up in the hospital was kind of like, you kind of had to justify Oh, wow. Like, Yo, know, why am I around? Like, because because you're thinking that you're like because you're seeing the effect that you have on your family. You're seeing the effect that you, you know, have on people that love you, and you're like, what the hell happened? So, um, damn, Ryan. <clears throat> Sorry to hear that. I'm glad that we were able to be of help to you. Yeah, I'm sorry that sure. happened to you, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Um. And, and honestly, like one of the best ways of getting over a bad situation is celebrating other people's uh, love. Because if you celebrate other people's love, then you could say, you know what, that's still available for me. I don't know the circumstances in which you lost your life, but um, there were a lot of years where, like, I would, I would look at other people's situations and be like, you know what, love is still real. You know, like it's still, it's still a thing. And I think uh, Stacy and Fernando proved that obviously. <laughs> um yeah man like i i i uh i really actually i like the song a lot it was heavy but it was very very introspective they have a very weird but, well, their so song structures are weird sometimes what what do you have any tips or anything like like let's say somebody finds up you said that you, you were at that point right before you went to the hospital where you were like justifying yeah. your existence to yourself uh -huh. and then you ended up in the hospital and you clearly needed help so would you say that when you're at that point that well definitely if you're at the place where you have to justify that you're yeah that's probably something i should have yeah you definitely need to be seeing somebody at that point by that point it's too late like you should have been seeing somebody well before that stage but if you're if you're in that state i shouldn't have said too late but it's it's late in the process let me say it that way um yeah right, I definitely, but not too too late right yeah definitely see somebody you know like like here's the thing like people go oh no you're not a burden you're not a burden well that's not true like when you absolutely are a burden, but here's the thing, here's the thing. That is not how we determine whether or not we're going to keep going with something, whether or not the backpack That's right. is heavy. That's right. What, what, what determines whether or not people keep going in light of a burden is, is the how thing that you're carrying more valuable to mm -hmm. you than your comfort. Mm -hmm. So, if I have seven 100 pounds, that's, that's ridiculous. If I have seven uh, 40 pound diamonds and I got to carry them up a hill for a mile, I am absolutely burdened. 
I am the most burdened person on that trek. But when I get to the top of that fucking mountain, I'll be the richest person on that trek. So if you are a burden to your family, that's okay. Because you're a diamond. Why? Because you're an image bearer of God. So you are worth carrying. You are worth being a burden as long as there is a destination. Right? If I say, I'm going to get to the top of that mountain and I'm going to be the richest motherfucker on the top of that mountain. That's why I have seven kids. Are they a burden? Of course. I've got an 18 year old. He's an absolute burden. But I'm also the richest person I know. So... That's what I'll say. Like, if you're if you're a burden, um, that's okay. Because uh, I, I always tell the kids, like, I'm going to be real with you. Like, I'm never, ever going to lie to you kids. <laughs> Somebody asked me if they're a burden one time. I said, you absolutely are. <laughs> and you're worth it. Aww. Because we're going to get to the top of the mountain. When we get to the top of the mountain, because of you, you're going to make this family the richest family in the world. Right? And so... Um, if you can, if you can get there with yourself, if you can get there with yourself, uh, cool. And if you can't get there with yourself, reach out to your people. Cause I guarantee you, your people are going to let you know in whatever way they can, that you're a diamond and it's important to them that you fucking stay around. The worst possible thing to do is be a burden, make your family carry you for half the way, and then fucking quit on them so that when they get to the top of the mountain, they have nothing in the book bag, Mm because that's happened to me too. So if you're a burden and your people have been carrying you, the worst thing you can do to them is take yourself out of the situation. That's not for you to do. You owe them that. If they've been carrying you, then you owe them the ability to get to the top of the mountain with you. So that's what I'll say about that. Yeah. Burdens are necessary. Correct. (sighs) Love the song. Really good message. 9.4. 9.4. 9.6. Man, you know, guys, we got one more song. It's an Aussie song. I don't know if we're going to be able to see you guys tomorrow because we only have 61 likes, so. I don't know. <laughs> Just Ben's message. Which Ben? Just scroll down. <laughs> Which Ben? Eight dot five no, for me. How past, dare no, you? No, no, no. He says we're past sixty likes. I hope Ben likes the burden of likes that we carry for him. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I. Yeah. I'm definitely giving this one a um a nine point six. I liked it. Uh, did you have thoughts? Um. Can you pull up the lyrics again? <laughs> this is the- oh, I didn't. I can't wait to rewatch the bird in hell reaction at the end. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, okay, I'll have to watch that as well. <laughs> I got to figure out what the yeah, hell like, that was. So we don't hilarious. know how we come off. So we have one more song <laughs> for you, dear listener. One more song. It's by this guy named Ozzy Osbourne. It's like Quiet Loser or something like that. Something Quiet having, Loser? Something, no, Secret it's Loser. Just, it's oh, Secret, Secret Loser. Loser. Secret Loser. Oh, Secret. yeah, that's it's right. Like something having to do with uh, losing. Okay? Um, all right, there you go. We have Secret Loser. One more time for your mind. Vin out. Sorry, out. Go on. Evil eyebrow in this bitch. Let's go. <laughs>